Hello everyone, I'm Paul McGuire Grimes. This is Paul's trip to the movies. I sat down with Kevin Bacon to talk about his new film, You Should Have Left. It's available on demand for rental, and we got to talk a little bit about scary movies and what scares Kevin Bacon. Take a look. Paul McGuire Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Well, well, Kevin, it's so great talking to you today. It's a, it's a really, it's a true honor talking to you today. Thank you, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. It's a very f effective and like suspenseful movie. So kudos on kind of being able to do a scary movie that actually does that these days. Have you had any ghostly encounters yourself? Nope. I uh, really would like to have one. You know, it's so interesting when I've done movies that have uh, had a scary bent or involved some, something supernatural, you know, when I get that question, I go, boy, I'd love to see something flying across the room or, or uh, you know, uh, some have some kind of, you know, have a, a close encounter with an alien, but it just hasn't <laughs> happened yet, you know? I'm not still waiting. What scares Kevin Bacon? Uh, dead mice. Cool. Right. Ugh. I don't yeah. like dead mice. I have to. I when I, when when I find a uh, a mouse, uh, I have to uh, ask my wife to come and and remove it. Uh, no, I I get that. Um, the house in the movie is so eerie and bare, and was like another character in the movie. Did it feel as creepy filming there? Because I know some of it was shot in that house. Yeah, we shot we shot quite a bit in that house, um, and. Uh, I think that the house was interesting. It was a very, very important um, location because the house really becomes a character in the film and it becomes a kind of manifestation of, of a lot of the turmoil that my character is, is going through. And uh, David Kep, who is a, the writer director um, of the film had wanted to conceive of it, not as a classic um, kind of uh, Gothic, horror house, you know, yep. with a lot of antiques and, and um, you know, creepy old pictures and stuff, you know, he wanted to be minimal and, and uh, modernistic and Spartan and uh, to have a kind of cold vibe to it. So finding that in isolation in Wales was a, a challenge, but sure enough, there it was. And uh, we kind of both looked at each other like, wow, this, we have to shoot in this place. This is, this is the one. What was the best part of filming in Wales? Because I've never been there myself. I had never been there either. Um, I, you know, I I I, I lived um, most the crew and the cast were going back to the villages, and, and I chose to live in a little uh, cabin that we were using as a um, dressing room. And uh, so at night, everybody would leave, and the and the and the, we'd get dark and dark, darker than I've ever seen, you know, the sky and, and uh, quiet, a kind of quiet that you just really don't ex experience um, very rarely, you know, mm -hmm. um, and so many sheep and, and rolling hills and, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a magical kind of place. Yeah, you and Amanda Seifert are both very musically gifted. Were there any jam sessions in between takes or at the end of the day shooting? Yeah, we did play a little bit, I think. Um, yeah, there was a, I think there was usually a guitar around. I, mean, I know I have my guitar and I, th I think Amanda might have had her guitar too. Awesome. Now I've been listening to The Last Degree of Kevin Bacon podcast uh -huh. and uh, kind of you and Kira are so funny in it together. So I want to go kind of go along those, uh, that line. Has, have you been stumped? Has anyone been able to find an actor or a director that you cannot be connected to? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Not completely. I mean, in six steps or less. Yeah, six steps is actually a lot when you really think about it. You know, just in the exponential math math of of of, of life. No, as far as I know, I don't. I don't. I think I'm, and I'm not even the most connected person there is. I think there's a lot of actors who have. have I've seen the, like the charts. I'm I'm like maybe the 150th most or something like that. My last question is, what's your favorite scary movie? And you can't say one of your own. Okay, uh, boy, uh, wow, that's really a tough one. There's so many great ones. Well, I'm just going to say, in the in the in in recent memory, I thought that Get Out was pretty remarkable because Get Out um, exists on three levels to me. One is that it's just scary. Two is that it's scary funny. And three is that it's scary, funny, and with a message of social justice. And to and to make all those things um, happen 
in one film was quite an accomplishment, I think, from Jordan Peele. So I, I, I'll, I'll go with that one. He's a master storyteller. I'm loving what he is making these days. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for the interview today. The movie is really great. I'm glad people are going to be able to see it. Um, I have to tell you, this is going to be my mother's favorite interview of all time because she's uh -huh. seen the Bacon Brothers in concert so many times. We actually saw Wild Things together in theaters, not knowing what we were getting ourselves into. So thank you for those <laughs> memories. So thank you very much, Kevin. I appreciate it. All right. Send my best to your mom. I will. Thank you.